Um, <clears throat> thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, welcome, uh, distinguished members of the Governing Council. Uh, welcome, distinguished observers. Thank you for your presence, dear colleagues uh, and friends from UNISRAT and uh, visitors. Um, this is um, off the agenda, obviously, so I will hope you will indulge me with a few minutes because the circumstances require it. Um, this is a moment I never thought I would live through, and this is a letter I never thought I would need to read out loud. Um, Alberto Mazzoni was such an energetic person. Yeah, there was so much life and uh, enthusiasm in his personality that even sickness seemed like an impossibility. He was 76, which is a moment in the life of men when death is an unlikely but yet reasonable risk. But on the face of it, such did not seem to be the case, no, not for him. And yet he has gone abruptly interrupting plans, long-wished projects, so many things that he still wanted to do. Alberto's passing cannot be right. It was not yet time. As a president, Alberto Mazzoni was a model. He revered the honorable institution that hosts us today. He cherished every moment of his time in office. He loved UNISRAT. He loved the idea of UNISRAT. He loved the potential of UNISRAT, an institution which symbolizes the best of an old humanist ideal, that of the League of Nations, in the shape of a venerable legal temple. And her loved humans' values, um, he was essentially a person of and for the rule of law, and he was convinced that economic exchanges and commerce and all that spins around these, far from being vulgar, from being mundane, is precisely the place where the best potential for peace and prosperity lies. Unisrat's mission was Alberto Mazzoni's mission. <clears throat> Alberto's time in Unisrat is inseparable from the work of Angelo Estrella Faria, an excellent professional whom he deeply respected and for whom he lodged sincere affection. Together, they achieved great things. The legislative guide on intermediated securities, the principles on close-out netting, uh, a new version of the principles on international uh, commercial contracts, a legal guide on contract farming, space protocol to the Cape Town Convention, important work on transnational procedural law, and so on. During his time, Alberto and Angelo set the foundations of a first-rate international organization in many different and important ways. All of this, naturally, with the invaluable help of a supportive governing council and the excellent professionals that work in the house. Well over a year ago, a year and a half ago, Alberto Mazzoni invited me, like others, to apply for the position that Angelo had left vacant. Skeptical about my chances at first, I nevertheless gave it a try out of pure respect for Alberto. Just the fact that he considered I might be a suitable candidate generated in me the immediate obligation to apply. Against, all, against the odds, at least against my odds, this governing council bestowed upon me the responsibility. Alberto never said anything he did not think, just like he never did anything he didn't believe in. Well, he overwhelmed me with his trust. He showed truthful excitement about the possibility of us two working together. We can do great things together, he said to me several times. I have many deficiencies, um, some more apparent than others, but they are there. But being easily scared is not one of them. I can guarantee I was terrified at the prospect of deceiving his trust, of not proving worthy of his expectations. The truth, I must confess, is that I still am. Uh, and now even more, since I no longer have him with me to sail this ship. The enormous respect I feel and always felt for him casts a shadow that will accompany me during my years at Unisrat. I will always be worried not to do what he thought I could do, not to bring Unisrat what he thought I should help bring it. 
With my fears, though, I plan to try my best uh, of my abilities to make his wishes true, to meet his expectations. That impulse is also part of his legacy. Alberto Mazzoni was an extraordinary human being. He was an intellectual, he was passionate, kind, loyal, reasonable, intelligent, deep, open to change and always ready to uncover the real truth, that one which hides, hides behind the shapes. He taught me and many a lot of things. Alberto was of all things a man of principle, a fundamentally decent human being. He was besides a good friend of many of us. He will be remembered, but his memory cannot make up for his absence. Alberto has gone too early. It was not yet his time. Rest in peace, my dear friend. I can only agree with you. You should be here today. May I ask you please for an applause for Alberto's memory. <laughs>